Kirikoto Kato, Kurechu Ribotoko Inua. So while we've now moved through from the acute first phase of COVID-19, we have 12 to 18 months ahead of us of maintaining COVID readiness. For us as leaders, this means supporting our teams to navigate their way through this time in a way that means that they can sustain COVID readiness and deliver everyday health care. The wellbeing of our health system begins and ends with its people. Wellbeing is at the centre of everything we do, and we know that we're at our best when we're well supported and able to thrive. This image presents a model which explores the pressure waves likely to fall on the health system during a pandemic. Models are of course an approximation, real life is never as simple, but they do give us a way to think about what might be and to plan accordingly. New Zealand has been really fortunate to come through the first wave of COVID relatively quickly and without exceeding the resources of our health system. But it has involved a huge amount of change and disruption to our ways of working and of living. And that has an impact on our well-being. In the second phase, where we find ourselves now, we're coping with the impact of COVID on other aspects of health and well-being. The green text box outlines the experiences that people are talking about at the moment. As we move into the third wave, where the impacts of COVID play out in the wider health and disability sector, we can see an additional layering of emotions and concerns emerging. And at the fourth wave, where the impact of the pandemic comes, becomes felt through communities and the economy, then we see pressure on the health sector and an additional set of challenges for the well-being of our health workforces. Kia ora koutou, I'm Kerry Whitcomb, Organisational Development Practice Lead at Auckland District Health Board and proud member of Kahuri Ōnanga. As we experience the waves of COVID-19, we all have different well-being Ōnanga needs and that's okay and that's normal. There are some things we know we can do to, to respond in emergencies like pandemics, to support and care for each other. Firstly, building a strong foundation. Almost everyone will benefit from good information and having our basic safety and security needs met. Some of us have woven Tafali Tapafa into our response to ensure we take a holistic approach to well-being on Anga. Secondly, we heard that supporting you as leaders is critical to help you as you support your teams. Thirdly, we also recognise that a small group of us will need tailored or specialist support. Supporting you to talk to your teams about wellbeing is a key priority for Kahuri Oranga and is a focus of our upcoming Leading for Wellbeing Oranga webinar series. Kia ora.